Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Well, guess what? It's CUDA time. Been looking forward to this for a few weeks now and I cannot wait to get started on this car. I know somebody else is really, really excited to work on this car. Thank God he dropped that nasty Mustang habit. He's all about CUDAs now. We're in luck. So, where do you start with a car like this? Okay, when it pretty much needs everything, kind of like our 68 Charger did, it needs frame rails, it needs floors, it needs quarters, it needs everything. Where do you start? Well, I'll be honest with you guys, every time I pull down my driveway or drive up my road, I see how shitty this front clip looks and I can't stand it anymore. Uh, literally the K-frame is on the ground, tires are flat, it's just dog ass ugly, okay? So when you're building a GM car, okay, you see the prices, not that bad. When you're building a Charger, prices get a little bit more, about double that of, a, let's say a 68 Camaro, for example. Cuda is a whole different story, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So let's break down the prices for just the front clip parts alone from AMD. Each frame rail, $700. Inner fenders, 400 bucks. Torsion support is another 400 or so. Radiator support, I believe, is five. And then you got all the brackets, the pieces, everything that you need to tie this front clip back together. And oh yeah, you better have good measurements. That way you get all your geometry right too. Okay, so all said and done. Taxes, shipping, I believe in this case would have been freight with the size of the parts. It's about $3,500 to get that done, okay? Now granted, this car is gonna be worth a hell of a lot of money when it's finished. But to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of a cheap ass. And I, I know you're probably laughing because I'm building a 71 Cuda and you can't really be cheap. But there's different ways to get more for your money when replacing these kind of parts. And I proved that with our 68 Charger when we took the front half of a GTX, a 68 GTX, and also my car, cut them both in half, welded them together, and it turned out really, really nice. Okay? So I immediately hit the interwebs as soon as I got this car and tried to find a Cuda or a Challenger front clip. If you're looking for one, good luck. Okay, found two of them. They were somewhat within driving distance. Both of them, junk. Absolute junk, they were in people's junk piles, those things stacked on top of them. All the, uh, you know, the screw holes and everything like that, you know, were ripped out kind of like this, all the way down the inner fenders. They needed a ton of work. And uh, let's be honest, people are pretty proud of their Cuda and Challenger parts. So I thought I'd have to, unfortunately, you know, pony up and get into the AMD catalog and buy all the parts new until uh, Chris Birdsong from Junker Up reached out and said, hey, instead of looking for a E-body front clip, why don't you find a 71 or 72 B-body front clip? Did not realize the parts interchange, at least some of them do. Looked it up and sure enough, the front frame rails, the inner fenders, the radiator support, same part numbers. Believe it or not, actually, the floor pans are even the same part numbers. So, that changed things a lot, okay? So hopped on eBay, found actually an entire parts car, like I need another car in my driveway, okay? But California car, really, really solid, really, really nice, and most importantly, really, really cheap. <laughs> we like cheap, right? So without further ado, let me introduce to you my 1971 Dodge Charger parts car. All right, now I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking. That's the cleanest car in your driveway. Well, sadly enough, you'd actually be right. <laughs> this car is really, really clean. And at first, when I picked it up, every gas station I'd stop at, I got a ton of attention, just as it is right here, okay? But you know what? I pulled the fender tag information. Originally, we thought it was a 72. It's actually a 71. This is a bottom of the barrel. Lowest option charger you're probably ever gonna find. It's a 318 two-barrel car. 
um, has a torque flight transmission in it, the weak rear end in it, okay, and not to mention it came with zero parts. Well, I say that, but I got a steering column and I do have one seat belt right there. But aside from that, no other parts at all came with the car, so I will not be very upset to cut this car in half and use the front half to save our 71 Cuda. So, what do we do from here? Well, it's pretty easy, guys. I'm gonna grab a Sawzall and actually cut this car in half. <laughs> okay, you can see here where the torsion support is with the spot welds. I'm gonna cut it right behind there. Just gonna cut it right here at the top of the uh, the A pillars here. Separate the two. We're gonna put the front half of this up onto a body cart after we get the, the uh, K frame off the bottom of it and uh, start dissecting and basically peeling this thing, the firewall and the cowl completely off of the front clip. Of course, we wanna save all these brackets. We want these to be in perfect condition as we go to transplant them on our 71 Cuda. So without further ado, those of you 71 to 74 Charger guys, now would be the time to sign off. Everybody else, grab some popcorn because we're cutting this car in half. So let's get it done. All right guys, so now that our K-frame's out of the way, it's time to start the dissection process. And what I look forward to least, and that is burning through about two dozen grinding wheels and several drill bits to separate the parts that I want, basically the frame rails all the way to the torsion support across the other side. And then we're gonna split it. Basically, you see this flange that's running right here. We'll take some heat, we'll take a wire wheel, clean this off so that way we can see exactly where those factory spot welds were drilled all of these out and separate basically the inner fender and this little support piece here from the firewall so that way we can separate everything now we want to save right here these are the uh, frame rail to inner rocker supports we want to save those of course any sort of braces brackets that attach the front clip or the inner fenders up to the cowl or the firewall so looking at the inside here we'll start the process of just basically clearing this entire thing out just get it out of the way it's a few bolts to get the heater box out a couple bolts to get the pedals and you know some of these other brackets and different pieces out of here so we can take those out pretty fast but uh again none of this stuff is spoken for so if you guys see anything we got a mint uh, steering column and ignition cylinder as well if you guys see anything that you need for your builds definitely let me know and i'll make you a smoking deal on it so with that guys i'm gonna grab again a stack or two of grinding wheels a couple drill bits and uh, start the process of taking this thing apart. So let's get to it.
are you guys? Well, after a very, very long couple of days, our 72 Charger is essentially reduced to this parts <laughs> okay so you know overall it went really really well i mean even using my impact chisel um you know the hammer chisel i was still able to save every single one of my weldable surfaces here which you know whether it goes on the firewall like up here or the inner rockers like our torsion support down there um, or even the floor pan here on the top of the torsion bar everything turned out really really nice and i'm very very happy with this so again why would you do something like this well number one an entire parts donor car was actually very reasonable um overall i think this ended up saving me pretty close to about three thousand dollars actually and then i was able to say it sell the rear clip of this car um, for almost as much as i actually bought the entire car for so pretty much got it for free aside from a little bit of gas um, and again, I mean, using it like this, make sure that all of our geometry is correct, all the brackets are exactly where that they need to be, and, you know, all we need to do essentially is now take this front clip off of our 71 CUDA, clean everything up, butt it up against the firewall, measure it out, center it up, fit our fenders, fit our hood, and burn it in. And the whole thing is going to be done at once, which will be awesome. <laughs> Big time and money saver. So. From here, guys, I'm going to continue to clean this up a little bit more. I'm going to go drop this off, get this completely blasted. We'll put it in a you know complete coat of epoxy here, start cleaning up our surfaces here a little bit more, weld through primer, and uh, at that point, it'll basically be ready to drop straight in. Now, we still have to completely disassemble our 71 CUDA. we got to get the motor out of it. we got to get the whole front clip off of it. So I don't even think half the work's done yet on getting this clip in, but huge step forward, huge progress. And I avoided getting, you know, in trouble with my wife because the whole car is already gone. So it's a win, 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 win. <laughs> so with that, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.